up, Mom. Let's do this. <laughs> you told me I'm like a rude. I know. <laughs> You're doing good. That's fantastic. It's going great now that you're here. <laughs> All right, so today we'll be doing your um, refinance. I know it seems like a lot of papers are really not that bad. Okay. okay. All right, so the first thing I'm just going to jot down in my notary journal today's. Let me see your ID, please. Yes, right here. Thank you. I'm just going to use this to jot down our, my record of today's appointment. We'll sign this towards the end. Okay. Have, do you have a pen? Uh, yes, I have one right here. Okay, great. So you don't need a pen. Okay. All right. And I do have hand sanitizer if you don't mind. I like to sanitize my hands prior to every signing that I do. Would you like some? Yes, please. Okay. All right. So, have you seen your documents, Miss Carson? Yes. You have? Okay. So, this should go easy, right? Right. <laughs> should no go. doubt. Okay. <laughs> should go a lot pretty smooth. Okay. So, um, first things first. Uh, just a couple of things to note. So throughout this signing, um, on the documents, I need you to sign um, as your name appears exactly on the signature line. Mm -hmm. And also for um, the year, when for dates, I need a full 2020. Okay. You can abbreviate the month however you wish to, but for the year, we need a full 2020. And remember that today's the 14th. <laughs> Last but not least, um, if you have any questions, um, I like to say that I can answer the what's and not the why's. So if there's any um, issues or something that you see that may not look um, in order, <laughs> yes, um, stop me so that um, we can go ahead and call your loan officer or talk okay. to get those answers that you need. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to go over, Miss Carson, is your um, settlement statement, and I'm also going to pull out the, the closing disclosure for you. Yes. Um, your closing disclosure, you more than likely have seen that or at least a variation of it. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. Here's your settlement statement. So I'm showing on your settlement statement that you have this amount coming back to you. Is that correct? Yes. That looks correct? That's correct. Okay. If everything is good, I need you to go ahead and sign for me. Thank you. And next, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and pull out your closing disclosure, which gives you an overall summary of your um, loan. So this is the amount of your loan. This is your interest rate. This is your That's monthly. Fantastic. This is your monthly principal and interest. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's showing that you don't have a prepayment penalty on this loan. Your total monthly payment is right here. Mm -hmm. This is your escrow amount okay. which is this plus this equals that okay? okay and again cash to close we're showing this is the amount that's coming back to you oh, okay all right i also like to point out that the lender um does looks like that they do accept partial payments okay and they may hold them in a separate account until you okay this, okay got it if everything looks good i just need you to sign a date that's the bottom. You said a full date? Yes. So November 14th? Mm hmm. 2020. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Next, I want to go ahead and pull out this statement of information that this particular title company includes in their um, packages. This is literally going to be the hardest part of okay. our signing today. Okay. Uh, so you can just go ahead and fill this one out. Um, it's pre-filled with the basic information of everything under 
the residence and the occupation section if that includes the 10 years and you can skip that mm -hmm. um, but if you could please fill in um, spouse information and verify former marriages um, current loan on the property just if you have any other loans this is what this section is for okay and then if you have a homeowners association i need you to sign and date okay, okay. all of that all right okay and then sign and date it yep okay okay all right that was a hard part now let's get to these stuff um, this right here is just a request to close out a um, line of credit on your um, previous account. I mm -hmm. just need you to date right there and inside. Date it inside? Yes. Okay. You're going to date here and inside. Date. Okay. November. Okay. Thank you. And just so you know that I did give you a copy so everything. Yes. Um, you have a copy of everything that we're signing and going over to today, okay? Okay. My policy is if it doesn't have a signature line, it's none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> so I just give it all right. This right here is um, borrow, your borrower, owner, purchaser affidavit. This has to do with any, um, they just want to know if you have any any other liens on the property or um, right. any construction or things like that. Right. So, okay, if you could just sign right here mm -hmm. and I'll notarize the bottom for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. A date as well? Um, no date? No date. Okay. Thank you. is just forms from um, the lender directly from me. I'm just writing up here that there's no fun to do today. This is just a fraud alert from Villa Title. It, it discloses their wiring information okay. so that if you have to send the money, you know that you're sending it to the correct person. Okay. Right, right. All right. So I just need you to sign that for me. Thank you. This is your correction agreement. This has to do with um, making sure that all the clerical errors, or if there's any clerical, if there's any clerical errors on the documents, mm -hmm. that um, you comply with the um, title company to make those corrections. I have to go with the title company. No, let's just say if they come to you, they say, "Hey, Miss Carson, can you make this edit for me?" Um, I see that we missed, um, a, you didn't sign a full 2020. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That okay. could go back and... Okay. And this is, and this is what, um, okay. Got yes. It. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and sign here and date it? Yes. Thank you. You're a pro professional. You've done this before. Yes, I have. Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. All right. <laughs> This is the affiliate. I'm a professional. <laughs> this is the affiliate business ar arrangement. So by law, they do have to disclose to companies that they do business with. So Villa Title. So it outlines um, the other companies that they do business with, as, mm -hmm. as well as what what they charge. Mm -hmm. You probably noticed that on your closing disclosure. Yes. That just needs you to sign and date saying that you received that, okay. and then print your name. Mm -hmm. Yep, and date. Mm -hmm. Date. Oh. And then print your name at the bottom. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So this is um, obviously another form to make sure I'm doing my job right. Mm -hmm. I just need you to sign for me. I did not collect any funds because no funds are due on oh. your on, oh, okay. on your loan to close. Okay. Okay. So you I. I don't pay you anything today. Correct. You okay. don't pay me nothing. Okay. You don't get money back. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
more forms to be sure that I'm doing my job right. And we're going to skip past those. This is buyer instructions. So that $400 that you saw on your closing disclosure, mm -hmm. you're going to let them know how you would like to receive that money. Okay. You can do by um, check by regular mail, overnight check, or wire. You just okay. make your selection and then sign and date at the bottom. Okay. Can they do a direct deposit? Yes, and you have to fill in all the this. bank information. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Do you have a, a, a voided check? No. Do I need a voided check? It um, attach voided check if requesting wire. Should transfer. I give you one now? Um. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Owner's affidavit. All right, this is your owner's affidavit. Okay. Uh, just read bullet points one through seven to be mm -hmm. sure that you um, everything sounds good to you. Okay. And then you're just gonna sign right here, and I'll notarize the, the bottom. Okay. Okay. Need a date? No, ma'am. Okay. Actually, yes. Put the date right there because okay. it looks like it's. It's incomplete. It looks like they're actually right there. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. This looks like this is another copy of the request to close the line of credit. Just need to get a date and sign. Date and sign. Okay. Yeah, date right there. Thank you. Next, um, these are just some. Looks like these are just some closing um, documents from title and escrow here. I'm going to pass through this. There's no signature lines. Okay. For us. Next up, we have the um, 1003. This is the original loan application that you filled out okay. with your lender. Okay. You either did this online or by phone. Okay. So it's just, it's already filled out. It just has a couple of spots for you to sign. Mm -hmm. So I need you to sign at the very top of the first page. And you're going to sign on page four. And in the middle, you're going to sign a date right here. And then on page five, you're going to sign at the very bottom. Sign and date, okay? Okay, so the first one's at the top. Okay. Very top. Okay. And page four. Uh, page four. Is this four? Nope, this is two. Okay. There you go. Sign and date. Sign and date. And at the very bottom of page five, sign and date. Okay. I need a full date. A full date. Oh, a full okay. 2020. Okay. This is a closing disclosure. We already signed it, so I'm going to skip past it. So we over that at yeah, the that's beginning. a lot of papers. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. Next up is your Patriot Act. I just need to fill this in real quick. <sighs> just me verifying your um, ID information. Your name affidavit. I just need you to look at this and make sure that the names that's listed are names that you have gone by and that they're actually you. Uh, just go. These are the names I went by? Yes. Okay. 
Everything looks correct? Yep. It's correct. All right. Just sign and date for me and I'll notarize the bottle. This is your occupancy and financial status affidavit. So this pretty much says that you look happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is your occupancy and financial status affidavit. This just this just basically says this is your principal residence right here. As you see that it's checked. Yeah. And in regards to your financial status, that nothing's changed. Yeah, everything's set. Mm -hmm. I will notarize this. Do I need a date here? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Borrower certification authorization. You can just take a look at that and then sign in dates at the bottom for me. That's a lot of papers. Yeah. How many this is more? a small package. How many more we got? This is the fact at notice. It just says that any negative information that reported to the credit bureaus. Negative information from me or? Mm -hmm. Like late payments such as, oh. things, such as that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. This is a notice from the FB FBI that says that mortgage uh, fraud is... Uh, punishable up to 30 years in prison or a million dollar fine or both. Just sign and date saying that you received the notice. Oh, so if I'm fraudulent mortgaging something? If you commit mortgage fraud, so you're pulling a mortgage out on a house that you don't own. Okay. Collecting, okay. yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, I hope not. Don't want to go to jail. Next is your 4506. This is so that your lender and title can get a copy of your transcript. I mean, a copy of your transcript, a transcript of your tax return. Okay, okay. I need you to check this box right here and then sign the date. Okay. Thank you. Next step is your W9. I need you know um, you'll get a 1099 at the end of the year for the payments that you made into escrow. Right. So I just need you to sign right here. It's already dated for you. Okay. This is for the type for the 1099. Mm -hmm. Hazard insurance authorization and requirements. You probably already know about this. This is a refinance. Mm -hmm. um, this is just the, uh, the requirements for hazard insurance from your lender. I just need you to sign and date that for me. Thank you. This is the mailing address certification. So where you want um, the company, um, I'm guessing it's Nation, Nation Star, where okay. you want them to see, send mailing correspondence to. Mm -hmm. You check the first box, they're gonna send it to the property address, which is where we're sitting at. Mm -hmm. Just need you to sign and date. Do I need to check that? Yes, please. Okay, and sign and date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is errors and omissions compliance agreement. What this agreement pretty much states is that um, if there's any clerical errors or anything on the documents, that you'll com comply to make the necessary changes. Right. If you need to sign and make that, I've already notarized it for you. Thank you. This is the hardship um form this just pretty much says that by the time you make your payment your first payment that's not going to put you in any financial hardship okay is making your payment going to put you in financial hardship uh not today okay <laughs>
This is your very first payment letter. Uh -huh. So this breaks down your, your first payment. Again, your first payment is due on this day. There's your amount. Yes. And as you know, there's no prepayment penalty. Okay. I'm um, just signing the date. On the loan. Thank you. This is your escrow account disclosure statement. This mm -hmm. breaks down your initial escrow account. Mm -hmm. This is the starting balance right here. Okay. This is what has been determined by mm -hmm. your lender to be the cushion, okay. which is usually um, two months of your escrow payment. Mm -hmm. This is the amount of the deposits going monthly into escrow, okay? okay. Each so, month. Mm -hmm. This is your amortization schedule. Um, all of your payments from now until the end of time. Do you want to see this? No. Okay. Well, then That's 190 just... months, wasn't it? Yep. I just need you to sign a date saying that you received it. You do have copies in your package that I gave you. Okay. Thank you. This is the announcement of receipt of an appraisal if you would like. If you have not received an appraisal and would like one, just contact them. Okay. And we'll be able to get one. Contact the loan company? Yep, Mason Star. Okay. Thank you. This is your notice of right to cancel. So you do have to do um, business days from today's transaction date to close out your, to cancel. How many days? Three business days. Three days? Yes. Three oh, wow, that's days. not long enough. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to keep your low interest rate, well, you don't want to keep it. <laughs> um, so today's transaction date is today, mm -hmm. the 14th. Mm -hmm. So you have until midnight of this day right here. Wow. To cancel. Um, so um, here's the information. Sometimes it takes longer than three days to make your mind up. Yeah, it does, but you, they, they <laughs> give you three days. So um, I just need you to sign a date at the very bottom. There's well, three copies. Okay, I need to start taking the notes down here. This is a borrower's acknowledgement of mortgage repayment ability. It just says that you're able to pay your mortgage and you don't foresee any changes to your income in the near future. <laughs> Wait a minute. Say that again. This is the borrower's acknowledgement of mortgage repayment ability. Mm -hmm. This form <laughs> this form pretty much says that you're able to pay your mortgage and you don't see anything changing in the near future. Uh, okay. Are you not able to pay your mortgage? <laughs> You never know what happened with the future. Okay, well, they just want to... Anything can happen. <laughs> this is the um, correction agreement, li limited power of attorney. I need a power of attorney? A limited power of attorney. Okay. So this gives limited power of attorney. Mm -hmm. So just like you signed a form saying that you will make the changes if there's any clerical errors. Okay. This gives the ability to make changes. Okay. okay. Edits when it comes to clerical errors. It doesn't give them the authority to change anything with your loan terms. It just okay. pertains to clerical errors. Okay. Sign and date and I'll order as a buyer. Thank you. Statement of information is already for the self. This is your note. Mm -hmm. Here's your loan amount right here. Mm -hmm. This is your interest rate right here. Mm -hmm. Your first payment is right here. Last payment right here. The amount of your payments minus escrow is right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. I just need you to sign and date. Well, just sign. The note doesn't get dated. So just need you to sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is your deed. 
Okay. Um, I always tell people the most important thing is that your name is on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, is Mine, oh my. Your name is on it. It's spelled correctly. Yes. Perfect. So I just need you to sign. And I will notarize the bottom. This is a planned unit development writer. That's showing that this is the name of the planned unit that we're currently sending you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Just need you to sign it. With this sign. Thank you. That's all the papers. Yeah. I'm just going to very quickly go through here to make sure that we didn't miss any signatures. Okay. And we're done. Thank oh. you so much. Hey. <laughs>